Now in this section, we're gonna talk about the Avid Artist series of control surfaces. These are very high quality but cost effective control surfaces that are integrated directly into MIDI Composer and Symphony. So the first one we'll talk about is the Artist Control. Now this is my mixer. It's actually a combination of, of a, a lot of things here. It's both a mixer, I have a four channel mixer and I can actually you know, raise my volumes dynamically so I can actually go and I can actually lower my volumes as I'm working. I can solo or pan tracks, right, solo mute tracks right from the control surface. I also have a number of soft keys right here and I could actually work on them so I can turn on my V1, my V2 tracks and right from here I can sort of turn on my tracks independently with the control surface. I also have the playback here so I can hit play, it's about to stop, right, fast forward, right, stop it and a jog shuttle right on this one control surface, right. Really powerful control surface. Right, great little combination of, of everything. Now as I move over here, now I have the artist mix. And if you see, because I have both of these attached, this one actually, this the MC control is going through one through four. So I have my four audio tracks, my one through four. Now if I go to my, my project has eight tracks of audio, this one takes five through eight. So they can work together and you can expand your control surfaces as you go. So as I, I can play this down, right? and I can start adjusting my music on tracks. That's his retirement from crime fighting. And it, re it remembers all that. Same sort of control surface here, right? Same controls as I had in control, is that I can solo and pan tracks on a track by track basis. So I'm working, I can solo and pan these tracks, right? I have hardware pan control, right? I could turn on, off the tracks. Really powerful, so this is a great control surface and it's integrated directly right inside of Media Composer. So now let's take a look at the artist transport. So this is this, this device right here. Before we get into that exactly, let's, we should probably back up a little bit. Let's talk about how this all communicates with MIDI Composer. It's using a protocol called Yukon, right? It's for Ethernet protocol. And it connects to the computer via Ethernet so it just is an IP address on your network. And so these are all the surfaces I have connected to my my media composer and, and they're assigned here. Now I can come through here and I can do, I can assign a number of different, depending on the surface, right, whatever I'm working on, I can, I can assign different keys. These are the soft keys, right? And I'm gonna actually say my, um, my number pad, here's the number pad right here on my transport. So if I click this button here, right, and I could actually add a new command, right? Add, I'm going to go to Yukon command and every single command that's actually inside of Media Composer, whatever it is, is available, right? So there's anything, right? Fast, but whatever I'm looking for, whatever, however I want to work, I can assign these keys. And there's also a shift option, so I can actually assign the shift key in this. There you go. There's also a shift, I can actually shift and, and get a whole nother set of buttons to work with in here. So I can assign any, anything I want, so I'll say keyframe. And now that is assigned to that number four key. It's very, very powerful how you can customize these interfaces and essentially save them. So now when I come back, that is there. It'll always be there. It, all, it features a lot of, you know, this is my jog, right? And then my shuttle is this outer ring. I'm from Crime Fight. Right? And I have essentially the play, stop, record, right? Mark in, mark out. Really powerful, very, very fast way to work with, you know, work with your media composer. All right, so my play. Welcome back, breaking news. Right. That's a real quick look at the artist transport. The next thing we're gonna look at is the artist color. Hitting F1 jumps you right into the color correction tool set. Hitting F2 cycles through all the different tabs inside HSL. Now, I can sit here right here and I can start my color correction right from within Media Composer. And you see my scopes now are actually moving live. So as I make some adjustments here, you can see my scopes are actually making adjustments live. Right, so as I, as I move these over, you see my scopes are moving as I make my adjustments. So they're literally, and it is clunky, it's slow. So I can make, I can make adjustments right within Media Composer and my scopes move dynamically. So essentially I can do two things at once. I'm adjusting my high 
It's a very powerful, very fast way to start working with your color correction. F3, I can actually, if I want to see my effect on or off, I hit F3 and it turns it off. It turns it on, turns it off, I see what I've done. I can hit Shift F3, that'll do a split screen, right? So it's on, hit Shift F3, I now have my split screen. Right, so very, very quickly, I can actually start working through my, my control surface. F4 turns it into a mouse, so if I need to actually click on something, if I want to specifically click on something, I can. If I don't like that effect, F5, I can actually remove it right from within there, right? I don't have to, I'm not touching the mouse at all here, right? I'm actually just working right in within my, in, in my control surface. And then uh, F6, I can undo that remove if I didn't I actually liked what I did. We have a number of auto features, right? So all these auto features that are down here in my interface, right? These auto features that are down here are these keys. I can actually just apply those very quickly just with a button. I haven't used my mouse yet. The nav button is down here. So if I use the nav button, I can actually now switch to my different channels. So right now I've been working on HSL. If I want to switch the channels, I can switch the channels. If I want to switch the levels, I can switch the levels and very quickly I can actually start doing work in these different. Here's curves, I can now switch the curves and I can actually start making my adjustments inside of my media composer and or symphony. And nav and I can go back to secondary, right? So very quickly I can just start, I can move between my styles of color correction right within symphony. And that's a real brief look at the Avid Artist Series control surfaces. And you can see by, by not having to use your mouse and by using these control surfaces, how much faster you can actually work and get your job done.